Happy Monday! It is day four of Summer Ween. Um, I haven't read anything yet today. It's actually kind of an afternoon. It's like, it's almost five in the afternoon and I haven't started my next book. I just kind of relaxed last night. Today I've just been working on some things and went to the gym and I think I am going to start a audiobook while I clean. The house is kind of a mess. I think I'm gonna start The Puzzle Master. Uh, I talked about it in my TBR. It sounds out there. I honestly don't know how to sum up this book. Apparently this world is like, it's a world made of puzzles. The main character has an accident and he has a brain injury from it, but the injury turns him into a savant and he has become really good at solving puzzles. So he can solve these puzzles. But then there's also like a murder and this woman has been accused of the murder and he is trying to like figure out who actually did the murder and how to like save her, I guess, from being criminalized for it. I don't know. I'm very confused <laughs> by the synopsis. I don't know what this is gonna be. I was actually just reading some of the reviews and the reviews are like super hit or miss. Like it's either like, wow, this is brilliant or like this is like so ridiculous and the premise is just too much and there's too much e detail and it goes on and on. So I don't know, we'll see what I think. But I figured I would start the audiobook while I clean and if I don't get hooked earlier on while I'm cleaning and doing that then I won't keep reading it. I'm really I'm really torn on it because a lot of the reviews were like there's too much detail, it's like trite and like trying to do too much and like over the top for the like sake of being you know edgy which is like annoying to me. That's like one of my big pet peeves when it comes to books. So We'll see. I don't know. I am just hoping to have a spooky time. Oh, my nose ring is all messed up. I'm just hoping to get some chores done and maybe I'll get into it. I hope so. We'll see. If it's not like something I'm enjoying, then I'm just gonna switch to a different scary horror book tonight because I'm really itching to read something good and fun and fast paced. So uh, yeah, I'll keep you updated. Okay, update. I am now more than 40% in to The Puzzle Master and I'm really liking it so far. I listened to it at 2.3 times speed so that's why I'm making it through so fast but I listened while I was cleaning and then while I made dinner and um, it's now 7.45 and I'm just trying to get some steps in. I'm at the park um, but I wanted to update y'all before I kept walking but I'm really liking it so far. I thought it was going to be fantasy-ish with this suspense, like, thriller, and no, it's not fantasy. Um, I was totally wrong about that, but our main character, Mike, he had a football accident when he was in high school, and it caused brain damage, which turned him into a savant, so he has, like, photographic memory, um, and he is pretty much, like, the puzzle master and can solve all these puzzles, and for his work, he creates puzzles. He comes in contact with this woman through her psychiatrist that all that she has done for, since she's been in jail for murder is do his puzzles and this psychiatrist wanted him to come meet with her because she hasn't like talked or communicated or really done anything since she's been in prison for I'm not I can't I'm not sure how long it's been but years it's taken this turn of like who murdered this this person it, doesn't seem that it was her and he's like trying to solve this murder mystery but there's a lot of layers going on it's like there's like a rich wealthy family involved and uh the woman who was in jail for who is in jail she was house sitting at this house and there's like a little bit of a haunting going on it seems i don't know there's a lots of layers to it so it's like almost like suspense thriller mystery with some like spooky horrorness in there and I'm really enjoying it like I'm I'm sure some people will be like too much is going on like stick to a couple of genres or and don't like try to throw everything at the wall but I am really enjoying it and I hope it gets even scarier so uh yeah I will update you later tonight
Hi friends. Okay, so it is Tuesday and last night I did finish the Puzzle Master. Um, overall, I liked it. I'm going to give it three and a half stars. The issue is that I really enjoyed the first half more than the second half. The first half was like super like mystery thriller suspense and then the second half got like just all this stuff was brought in and it almost got borderline ridiculous. Like I was like, why, like, why are we going here? Why, I just couldn't, I just couldn't understand. I don't know. Um, it was like, it, there were already so many genres in this book within the first half. And I feel like they even brought in more stuff in the second half. And I was like, okay, this is just getting to be a little bit too much. It goes into this like religious conspiracy area, which I was like, okay <laughs> i don't know i think that that stuff is kind of silly but um overall i did like it that it had some really good mystery and i wanted to know what was going on the resolution was pretty satisfying but man there there's part of this book where it's almost like a haunted house part and there's like spooky dolls and like porcelain dolls and that was like my favorite part of the book i thought that was really effective and being like oh what's gonna happen and building that suspense and being a little bit scary uh but then the rest of the book didn't really have that which is okay I kind of knew like that wasn't what the book was gonna be about but still it sucks like that those were my favorite parts and then like really after the first half you don't really get much more of that so yeah I don't know I I did like it. It was like really weird. The first half of it, I was so excited about. Like I know when I updated you yesterday, I was like, I'm loving it. And that was when I was at 43%. And then as the night went on, I was just like, oh no, bummer. It was a bummer, but I still liked it. So I'm gonna three and a half. Um, and I am sitting in the car. I'm about to go to like a workout class. It's like team training, but it's like an orange theory class, but my gym just, doesn't have the rights to say that it's orange theory um we're gonna do that and then go home have some dinner and i don't know what i'm gonna read next i want to read something scary i have night's edge that's due soon uh but it's not available on like i have the uh ebook checked out on libby and then the audiobook comes on scribed in three days so i'm like okay so I'm gonna wait for that audiobook, but I don't know what I'm gonna read next. I'm still trying to keep with like the spooky summerween vibes, so we'll see. Um, but yeah, I will let y'all know later. Okay, so I have decided on my next book and it's gonna be Ghosts of the Orphanage by Christine Keneally. This is a nonfiction, so um, switching it up a little bit from the regular horror summerween thriller kind of content, but this is still um, really dark and scary. It's uh, about the true stories of orphanages in the 20th century and how they were hubs of abuse and both mentally and physically and even some deaths. So I'm really interested in to read more about this. I know that there has been so much secrecy around the subject and um, like conspiracy around it. So I'm really looking forward to giving this a shot. I think I'm really going to enjoy this. Um, and it also tells the true stories with some survivors, which I think is very important. So um, yeah, this is a topic that I think more people should learn about. And I'm really excited that there is a book that will help me. Well, Jasper just jumped up here. Um, but I'm glad now that there is a book uh, telling these stories and like really informing us more about it. So I'm gonna give this a start um, and I'll update y'all in a little bit. Okay, I'm about 70 pages in. I'm about to start chapter four. So far, it's amazing. It's so good. It's dark, heavy, disturbing. I've already almost cried like three times. I've teared up. Um, major trigger warnings for this. I mean, it's it's rough to read. Um, yeah, wow. I And the writing in this is amazing. I'm absolutely loving how it's been written out um, and how she's telling these stories. It's like the right balance of like vivid 
um, but not going too far in detail for each thing. Um, I'm honestly kind of speechless about it. This is awful and it's very sad that this has happened and we're just starting in it. So, um, yeah, just wanted to give you all an update. I am 40% in now. I got, I got some eye patches on if you're wondering why I'm so shiny. <laughs> At the start, it was talking about multiple different orphanages nationwide, internationally, all over. And now it's mostly focusing on one called St. Joseph's in Burlington, Vermont. They went through stories of people there and then now they're going through like the legal process of them trying to get some justice um, from the church and just like the obstacles and the statute of limitations and all these things that really were limiting them. Um, but right now they're talking about lawyers and trying to find the correct lawyer for this one case, and it which would be the first case of any of the survivors for this particular orphanage. I'm still loving it. It's a lot. The things that these people went through are absolutely horrendous and horrible. Um, and I don't know where this goes, and I don't know like the news on this or anything. So this is like totally new information to me so i am super invested i want to know what happens how this all ends up if they do get any justice at all um even though that would even just be a tiny sliver of i mean it wouldn't make it any better what happened to them but yeah oh, it's a lot okay um it is 11 45 right now i think i will i mean i'm not really tired i also had pre-workout at like um 4 30 in the afternoon which i shouldn't have done so i'm like still very awake <laughs> uh i knew when i took it i was like that's a bad idea why are you doing this but anyway i'm, I'm gonna keep reading and i don't know if i'll update you again tonight i'll probably it'll probably be in the morning because i'm sure drew will be going to bed soon so Yep. So I just finished Ghost of the Orphanage. Um, it's such a great read. It's very heavy. It's tough to get through, so know that. But I think it is important information to learn. Other than things in the news recently, I really had no idea about a lot of these stories or a lot of what went on in those orphanages. So I definitely learned something. I don't think there's much more I'm going to say about the book that I haven't already said. Yeah, I mean, I give it five stars. I think I think it was a really great read. Um, next, I'm going to read The Drowning Woman by Robin Harding. Uh, I talked about this one in my TBR. So the Drowning Woman is a thriller that is about a woman who has fallen on hard times. She is living out of her car and she has parked her car in Seattle by the beach and she sees another woman jump in the water trying to end, end it all and end her life. So, so our main character goes in after her, saves her, but the woman that she saved is really upset that she did that because she did not want to stay alive. Um, but these women end up forming a friendship and the woman that she saved ha has been in a really rough spot with her relationship and has been in a really unfortunate relationship with her husband and she wants help disappearing but then it turns out do we really trust this person what's really going on there's something deeper going on here so um that's all i know about it so far and from the synopsis but i'm excited to give this a go i really love seattle so i'm excited about the setting of this and i think it'll be a quick spooky thriller read Okay, I'm about 20% into The Drowning Woman now. So far, I'm really liking it. Um, it's exactly what the synopsis has said up to this point. Our main character has fallen on hard times. Due to the pandemic, she lost her restaurant in New York and um, she had some really shady investors. And for her safety, she had to flee and has gone across the country to Seattle and is just basically like working in a diner trying to survive. Um, and 
she has saved the woman and they are building a relationship and this woman is talking about disappearing and getting a new passport and leaving and trying to escape from her abusive husband so that's basically what's going on there has been like a little bit of a romance on the main character's part with someone that she's met um that seems a little sus to me so i don't know i don't know we'll see but yeah i don't know if i'll update you again it's like mm, oh it's only 10 45 i thought it was way later i need to wash my face my makeup's everywhere but um yeah maybe i'll update you one more time before i go to bed who knows maybe it'll be tomorrow but talk soon i just finished ghost of the orphanage um it's such a great read it's very heavy it's tough to get through so know that but i think it is important information to learn other than things in the news recently i really had no idea about a lot of these stories or a lot of what went on in those orphanages so i definitely learned something i don't think there's much more i'm going to say about the book that i haven't already said so um yeah i mean i give it five stars i think i think it was a really great read um next i'm going to read the drowning woman by robin harding uh, i talked about this one in my tbr is a thriller that is about a woman who has fallen on hard times she is living out of her car and she has parked her car in seattle by the beach and she sees another woman jump in the water trying to end end it all and end her life so so our main character goes in after her, saves her, but the woman that she sh that she saved, but the woman that she saved is really upset that she did that because she did not want to stay alive. Um, but these women end up forming a friendship, and the woman that she saved ha has been in a really rough spot with her relationship and has been in a really unfortunate relationship with her husband and she wants help disappearing but then it turns out do we really trust this person what's really going on there's something deeper going on that's all i know about it so far and from the synopsis but i'm excited to give this a go i really love seattle so i'm excited about the setting of this and i think it'll be a quick spooky thriller read Okay, I'm about 20% into The Drowning Woman now. So far, I'm really liking it. Um, it's exactly what the synopsis has said up to this point. Our main character, due to the pandemic, she lost her restaurant in New York and um, she had some really shady investors and for her safety, she had to flee and has gone across the country to Seattle and is just basically like working in a diner trying to survive she has saved the woman and they are building a relationship and this woman is talking about disappearing and getting a new passport and leaving and trying to escape from her abusive husband so that's basically what's going on there has been like a little bit of a romance on the main character's part with someone that she's met um that seems a little sus to me so i don't know but yeah i don't know if i'll update you again it's like mm, Oh, it's only 10 45 i thought it was way later i need to wash my face my makeup's everywhere okay so it's thursday now and i am a little over halfway through with the drowning woman um the book does end up switching between point of views between our main character and the woman that she saved from the water and so far there has been a bit of a twist that i kind of saw coming but more things are happening that i'm like oh interesting i did not expect that so um so far, I'm really liking it. I think that the suspense is there and the mystery is there, and overall, I'm really enjoying it. So, I will give you an update later. I know I gave like the shortest update ever yesterday. I only read a few chapters yesterday while I was getting ready to go to Drew's dad's house. We had plans because he had family in town visiting his dad. So, uh, we did that last night and we didn't get home till like 10 30. And once I got home, I didn't really read anymore. So I only read a few chapters, so I gave like the quickest update ever yesterday, and yesterday was technically the last day of Summerween, but I'm trying to wrap up this book and finish this and hopefully get this video up either today, Friday, or uh, in the morning, Saturday. I hope I can get it all edited and ready to upload 
tomorrow morning because we're going to water world tomorrow which is like a water park here in colorado it's just outside of denver and we're going with some friends so we're doing that i don't think i'm going to vlog this weekend because we're super busy i have the well we have the water park tomorrow and then drew's work has like a work picnic on sunday which is silly like i hate that it's on the weekend but whatever um so we have that on sunday and that's most of the day on sunday so sunday night i might start one i have a few books coming available that are like general fiction like uh adelaide go as a river um my last innocent year I, ha I know i have those that are due pretty soon so i might do like a general fiction kind of reading vlog and switch it up from the spooky stuff that i've been reading lately and then i feel like once i knock those out i, I will mostly be re reading spooky stuff from then until halloween okay so i have officially gotten about 90 percent through the drowning woman I am really liking it so far. You know the books that have like multiple twists? It's like twist after twist after twist. This is one of them and it's actually really effective and done really well. A lot of them have really surprised me. I can't wait to find out what's gonna happen. I There's so much going on and we have learned so much about all the people involved from Lee, the drowning woman, um, her husband, this other man involved in love interest, and it's been pretty surprising and shocking. And I, it's always exciting for me when I'm actually surprised by a book. So the twists have been good. They've been super effective. I'm really enjoying it and it's so far a really good thriller. I'm at the park right now and I'm listening and reading along to the audiobook. I got Jasper with me, he's eating some grass. We tried this, um, this company actually gifted this to me, but it's Tillwagger Craft Dog Beer, and they have multiple flavors. This is the veggie one because I wanted the vegan option, but it's, it's really interesting because it's like a snack, but also a beverage, and I think it would be really useful for camping and stuff because whenever we go camping, Jasper often doesn't drink as much as she, as he should, and this... I feel like would really help them hydrate kind of like a snack but it's what like, but it's water it says like craft dog beer but it's not actually alcoholic or anything it's just like a dog treat but i thought that was super fun and cute yeah the brand's tailwagger if you want to check them out they're Denver based so i thought that was cool and yeah but i'm gonna sit here finish the last bit of this book and see what happens and update y'all Okay, I just finished and I really enjoyed it. I like the ending. I do feel like I do feel like the conclusion was a tiny bit rushed, but that's okay. Overall, I thought this was a really fast-paced, twisty read. Like, if you're not into a lot of twists or ups and downs, then the pacing might be a little bit off for you and you might not like that. But overall, I thought it was a really effective thriller and there was the suspense was there, the mystery was there. I, I enjoyed all the twists, and though I saw some of them coming, there were some that I did not. It's an entertaining, fast-paced thriller, and I think for the summer by the pool, I, th I feel like I'm always saying this, but like something like this, it's just like something you could fly through so quickly, and it's so satisfying. So yeah, I really enjoyed it, but this is the end of my summer ween vlog. I can't believe the week is over. I read a lot. How many books did I read? Five? Four? Five? Six? I don't even know anymore. It's it's all a blur, but it's all on camera. So you can, you can watch uh, my first summer ween vlog where I go camping. That's already up. Thanks so much for watching. If you have any questions or recommendations for me, please let me know. Just comment them below. Also, please like and subscribe. I think that will really help me. I hope you have a great day.